Durag Wisdom here ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Earth Date Y2K 19.12.30 and I'm wishing all of you folks out there a happy prosperous better new year I hope that this isn't the last year coming up or less of the United States of America and with that in mind, my thoughts go out to Representative John Lewis, who is suffering now from stage four pancreatic cancer, which was discovered during a routine medical examination. And I don't understand if the examination was routine, why it wasn't discovered sooner. So he's still gonna work, but here's a another icon threatened with death by cancer a great liberal progressive civil rights voice in our times a hero I really hope I really hope that John Lewis outlives what we got now this Putin president. John Lewis. Patriot. But today I wanted to answer some questions that people are afraid to ask about Jews. And I'm an expert about Jews because I am one. So I wanted to pick like three or so questions. So here they are. Questions about us Jews that you were afraid to ask. One, are Jews a people, a race, or a religion? Mm, that's a good question. The Jews are called people because as written in the Bible, we, because I'm, like I said, we're granted land that was supposed to be used to build a nation for a holy people. The original Hebrews, as they were called, were of color. But during our diaspora, when we were dispersed all over the world at that time, we mixed with peoples of other lands, including mostly those of the, of the European lands. This is how some Jews have got white skin. Many white supremacist groups do not consider Jews white, nor do they consider that Jesus was even a Jew. You should look this up sometimes on their uh, pseudo conspiracy history, whatever. The religion of the Jewish people, by the way, is called Judaism. So that's the next part. Are we a people? Well, this people's religion supposedly is the called Judaism although you can find Jewish people all over the world believing in all kinds of other stuff including a lot of the religious in Trump the term Judaism comes from the name Judah after the, the head of one of the twelve tribes of Israel the tribe of Judah one does not have to practice the religion to be considered a Jew if you are born of a Jewish mother, not father, or if you converted according to traditional Orthodox Jewish law, you are considered a Jew. This is all according to traditional stuff. Believe it or not, that racist fiend, one of the lackeys of Donald Trump, Stephen Miller, was born of a Jewish mother. I think a father too, but for sure a mother. And Bill Maher, by the way, who touts his Irish heritage, is also born of a Jewish mother and is considered just as Jewish as I am by what I said above. Jews, then, I don't mean to be professorial here, Jews, then, are a nation because they were given land. When I say they, I mean me too. And a religion that some do not follow, right? 
like I'm an atheist, for example. Jews can be a member of any race, white, black, brown, yellow, red, olive. If there were Jews on Mars, they would be green and blue. Question two, do all Jews support the state of Israel? Some of us do, and some of us don't. I have always supported Israel and Zionism in all of its historic land. You have to understand that m most every place Jews have lived, they had been subject to persecution. So you can well appreciate the fact that many of us consider Israel a possible place of escape in case things change wherever we are. Israel does have nuclear weapons, by the way, although they never admit it. Jews have just as much of a right to have a connection to an origin land as everyone else does. And it does not mean that Jews in particular will betray the USA for any other place. All ethnic groups in our country contribute to its gorgeous tapestry. I personally will only vote for what is best for America, which may not always be good for Israel. I was not always like this and used to be a one issue voter that drove me to support some of the worst presidents of our history, including Nixon and Reagan. I have since repented of this one issue voting evil. Some of us like and support Israel. Some of us don't. Some of us could care less one way or the other. We are human beings. The fact that I care anything of Israel at all is, is a good thing in a way. In the, for, for the fact that I wasn't born there, I've never been there, i never visited there. I was born in Cleveland, Ohio, raised in Southern California, and now dwell on Staten Island, New York. Nothing in there says anything about any history with Israel except somewhere way, 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 way back my ancestry. But I'll never cut my ties. I'm always connected. And I also know that if I cut my ties, there's always going to be some anti-Semite out there who's going to remind me just what I'm a part of. F them. Do we Jews have all the money? Okay, that's a hard one. Let me think about that. If the Bush family, the Kennedy family, the Ford family, and the like are Jewish, yes, absolutely. The Jewish people used to be farmers. That was supposed to be all about, you know, the land. Give you land, you till it, you take care of it, blah, blah, blah. Tilling the land, taking care of the land. That's what the Jewish life was all about, up until during the Middle Ages, for example, when many of us lived in Europe. We had dispersed out and into Europe. And we were persecuted by the Catholic Church. This was in the Middle Ages. And we were forced to live in something called ghettos, ghettos or shtetls. We were forced to wear certain things on our clothing, right? That's some kind of identifying patch. Remind you of something? Where do you think Hitler got the idea from? And Jews were not allowed to own land. We had no right to any land. The church made this law. All of this we were subject to. But the only thing, surprisingly and ironically enough, that we were allowed to do was money. Things to do with money. Because, you know, Christians don't have nothing to do with that money. That's worldly. Only the Jew is allowed to do that. The money lending Jew. So that became another series of stereotypes. And of course, it's funny, right? A lot of the pawnbrokers, there was even a great movie made about, quote, the pawnbroker, Jewish person. But it's an interesting story how one how a farming people can suddenly become 
over generations and generations turned into something totally different. Money lending was considered one of the lowest, most dis disrespected kinds of work you can do. And once again, Christians, the church said, were not allowed to engage in this kind of activity. Only the Christ-killing Jews had to do this. Okay, that's just three questions, and I just want to end it with this. Donald Trump does not like Jews. His father and he were supporters of the KKK, among other groups. Trump is the type of anti-Semite who believes that Jews are good at making money and will use them, will use us, to enrich himself. Furthermore, Trump believes that Jews have a dual loyalty when it comes to Israel and has even made demands that Jews must support him because he supports Israel. He could take his support of Israel and put it where the sun don't shine. Trump supports Israel not out of any love for my tribe. He supports Israel because that is one of the demands of his extremist Christian base who believe that Jesus can't return. And so all the Jews on this planet are gathered into Israel. See their book of Revelations in their Christian version of the Bible. Donald Trump, by calling Nazis good people too, has given them the go-ahead to wreak havoc. There are many religious Jews today that support Putin's president, including the Lubavitch Hasidic sect. Ivanka and Jared curse their names, pray in one of these Chabad Lubavitch synagogues, one in Washington, D.C. They're all over the world. We Jews often find ourselves mixed up in all kinds of issues, political, economic, religious. What we have to learn is being comfortable with ourselves and being honest and forthcoming with our neighbors. See that movie, The School Ties. There is nothing traitorous about being a Jew and nothing harmful about identifying in positive ways with your group. But we have to learn, as a tribe among many, to stop trying to be loved, to be pandered to, like this lying turd we have in the White House, pandering the greatest friend we Jews have ever had. He's helping Israel. He's the President of the United States and he's got to be helping America. America first, like he always says. So what's he doing? Pandering. The President of the United States has to help America first. Not at the extent of other nations to destroy them as this creep is doing. He's talking about America first in a different way. I'm talking about America first in certain ways. In the certain ways is how we all get along as an entire planet with everybody, respectfully and equally. And I'll vote for anybody who's not Trump, who does not necessarily have a great policy toward Israel, as long as they have a good policy toward this country. And that's what our tribe has to learn to do. Stop trying to be loved and stop attaching ourselves to leaders like this hate monger Trump. A pharaoh. A pharaoh who never knew Joseph.